Hey guys, welcome again. This particular video is all about data binding in the Blazor. Well, what is the basic syntax? And we will see a little demo after that. In the last um, video, I explained how Blazor exactly works. That that is a nice explanation and nice video. Just go ahead and have a look on that. So you'll be uh, getting the basic understanding how Blazor exactly runs in the browser with the help of WebAssembly. Before going forward, I just wanted to do a big disclaimer. John. Uh, don't just jump in and try building your production app with this framework. It's an experimental framework. You can see the release version there. It's a 0.2. So let's start today's video. Data binding works in two ways in um, Blazor. So in one way data binding and another is a two way data binding. One way data binding is useful when you just wanted to give a read only view to the user. Just like if you want to show the user something, then in that case you can go and use the one-way data binding. So the basic syntax of one-way data binding is just put the at the rate then uh, your uh, value or your property and it will uh, show in the page. And in the two-way data um, binding, you have to bind your property to, uh, to the controller. This way you can see it bind your value. This way you can bind, your, bind those things. And here in this particular context, your value is the property, your property whatever uh, custom property you just wanted to bind. So let us jump in and uh, see a demo. So here uh, I have a, created a simple simple Blazor template to whatever, whatever is provided currently with this particular preview preview of my Visual Studio. So uh, it's uh, contains uh, everything like whatever the basic thing it need to be content. Uh, it has uh, all those uh, layouts and everything. So uh, before going forward, uh, let us just have and check uh, how exactly this currently this Visual Studio, sorry, this UI looks. So it, uh, the browser is uh, up now. Now you can see the processing bar is going on. That means it's uh, trying to download all those DLLs uh, here. So it's uh, downloaded and it, uh, you can see the page here. So in the nav, it's a navigation bar so by which you can go to the page to page. Uh, th that's it content. It's a basic uh, template whichever is provided by the Blazor team. So now we'll see one-way data binding. For uh, doing one-way data binding, I will try to create a page, a CSTML page. So in this case, uh, I'm selecting class, uh, but whatever you can select, and you just have to keep the extension as CSTML dot CSTML. Now, as it's a one-way data binding, we will put one-way data bind. Okay, and press enter. Now it will create a page with the same name, data, one way data bind. Before going forward, I will do, uh, I will. I have to put a little bit thing that is page and then it's a basically a routing which I am declaring by which we can uh, discover this particular component in other components. So I will be I will be explaining all those things in the later videos and all about routing how exactly works. But today's topic is by data binding. So we'll talk about data binding more. So as we learn to display something, uh, suppose we have a div and just you want, just we want to show something to the, to the user. It's a message. Uh, yeah, just I want to show the message. I mean, a G -E message. Then uh, the particular uh, it's a red googly that means and this particular property is not uh, declared or defined anywhere. So to declare uh, any property or function or anything in the uh, Blazor page or Blazor component, you have to declare it in functions. So this is almost same as the razor and most of the uh, most of the razor syntax. This Blazor team is trying to get it from there to. In Blazor, so it will be easier to jump and write. So in that case, let us uh, create a property. I just use the shortcut uh, to create a property. If you don't know, then just uh, you have to type prop, then just press tab two times. Then it's a string, so I will pass the string. Then again tab, and I will type the message. That means the property name so now you can see there is no red giggly that means uh, we have already defined it and we will give a default value of hello to it hello world as uh, all the traditional programming long uh, demos uh, first demo we give it now i will uh, try clicking this one price uh, is express 
so it will try to build this application try to sanitize and it will launch the browser and will download all those dll whatever required to run this particular um, page okay so one problem here we did it it's uh, even though we declare this one way data binding page here but we we don't have any we did not declare from where we can invoke this okay even though we have routing but we have to configure that routing somewhere in the so that we can come to this particular page so for that thing we can do it in the nav menu so now let us create another li item i will just copy it and paste it to make things speed then one one way so this name should be same as this one then it will be a redirect to here then here we'll put one one way data okay we'll put bindings also now let us run again so now it's building the application or uh, doing all this pre-processing for this now it will launch the browser now it's trying to download all those dlls it takes time uh, on the current framework it's not that optimized but uh, blazer team is working on that you can see whatever we gave in that nab nab menu .cstml, it is appearing here that means you can see it here whatever we mentioned it is there and this is our routing so let's uh, click here and see what happens okay so you can see whatever we wrote it here hello world it's reflecting here it's same as here we we whatever uh, default value we gave it to it now let us jump and try to understand how two-way data binding works for that i will create another page i will just went there uh, just selected that particular page folder then i will select this one class and class then uh, csd html okay and now uh, just uh, we'll name it at two way data bind dot cstml then we'll press r so i did a little mistake let us correct this naming convention i'll put it capital letter now yes to all okay now i will delete everything i will just copy these things from here to here to make everything faster and i will change the route to two and uh, here two way okay let me okay this the spelling is correct now so before going forward let us create another route link so that we can navigate to this particular component and here we'll name it two okay and this one instead of one two way okay now here we'll go we um, like uh, rename this particular modified our routing now this uh, message we are showing now what we'll do we'll create a text box where the user can enter the details and we'll show those things to the in the tip again okay so to bind this particular property what we have to do you have to clear uh, call this property bind okay and then add the rate at the rate message as we have declared it here okay so now what i will do i will just uh, delete all those default values here now i will try to run this application so i pressed f5 now it's trying to build it and it will do all those pre-processing whatever is needed maybe in near future it might be get faster also okay now browser browser is here okay it's building 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 now okay now we'll click two way data binding and i will try test and as soon as the focus go out from this particular control it should appear in the top you can see it okay what i will do to make it is more like uh, visually appealing i will just put this is the entered message i'll just put this symbol i'll again run it 
it's trying to build this particular application okay again those uh, like uh, those steps whatever is need to be uh, prepared okay now the browser hits here and it's trying to download all those it takes time uh, you have to be present and uh, you have to work on this so once uh, you will click here it will show that component you can see this is the message a predefined message whatever we give it now we'll put hello okay let that focus out okay you can see this is hello world you can see it here it is okay so that that's how two way data binding works i guess i i try to explain all those uh, data binding how exactly works this routing and everything i am going to explain in the future videos for this video this much friends uh, so if you like this video press the like button if you don't like then press the dislike button if you have not yet subscribed please 3p and do uh, do subscribe to my channel if you have any suggestion to improve this particular channel just put everything in the comment box and if you have any doubts or if you have any questions for me then you can put those in the comment box also thanks bye bye